The Second World War brought with it the philosophy of nighttime bombing. It was a practice developed during the Spanish Civil War. To counter this, a means had to be developed that would give fighter pilots the ability to find the enemy at night, literally to see in the dark. The development of radar at Farnborough and a wartime test pilot called Cat's Eyes Cunningham began the process that was to turn night into day. The Blenheim squadron and uh, that I had been uh, in for two years was fortunately re-equipped with the Bristol Bow Fighter and that was the first effective night fighter fitted with a radar AI Mark IV. So that aeroplane came into the squadron in the end of September 1940. So we learnt the hard way and eventually uh, I was fortunate to have the first success at night uh, in November 1940 when the uh, Junkers 88 that I had uh, closed in on uh, with the use of the radar and my radar operator interpreting which was uh, not a very easy picture. Again I had one or two more successes in December 1940. The press uh, pursued the air ministry saying why did I have success at night and the air ministry wanting to uh, hold the security screen on the use of radar and not let it be known that we had some wonderful device uh, decided that they would officially, the Air Ministry would officially announce that I had exceptional night vision and that was why I had had success. That of course was not true. I, it was because I had radar uh, my night vision was no more than average. The press then uh, conjured up the term cat's eyes Cunningham and that has stuck to me ever since but of course it was the use of radar. In wartime gaining a technological advantage over the enemy can mean the difference between victory and defeat. After Cat's Eyes Cunningham's early successes, the development of radar moved on at pace. Every avenue of its possible use was explored. Soon, radar, in one form or another, was found in all areas of wartime operations. Unfortunately for the Allies, however, it didn't take long for the enemy to catch up. It was when the uh, aircraft uh, were streamed into bomber streams to uh, take the offensive into Germany that they realised that the German night fighter system and uh, uh, other aircraft involved were getting too many good results from their point of view, not from ours. And so it was decided that there were certain uh, countermeasures needed to be taken. Uh, one was Monica, which was a rear-facing radar um, which uh, gave the presence of uh, an approaching enemy aircraft by blips into the pilot's earphones. However, there were so many bombers in the stream that uh, he was getting so many false um, indications that they lost faith in that system. Uh, another system uh, was G, where you had three transmitters, a master and two slaves, which transmitted pulses to the aircraft, and from this an accurate uh, position uh, could be plotted on a suitable chart, the G chart. The Germans, in fact, did capture some equipment uh, which was uh, installed into crashed aircraft and in fact used the G system for their own navigation purposes sometimes. And then of course the, the problem with the night fighters and other aircraft was the AI um, development, air interception, where they mounted equipment into the nose of the aircraft to electronically illuminate aircraft and get an indication back so that the uh, navigator or the operator of the equipment could guide the pilot onto his target and then after visual indication or, or identification would then promptly hopefully shoot the blighter down. 
After the war, virtually every nation with an air force had some form of radar for offence and defence. It was soon realised that radar could easily be detected and countered. New methods of seeing in the dark needed developing, and Farnborough set about the task with a will. Staying one step ahead of the new threat, the Eastern Bloc Alliance was the driving force. Today, pilots can aim weapons at targets simply by looking at them. They can see perfectly well in the dark and know exactly the status of their aircraft from the information displayed in the visor of their helmet. A combination of fantastic technologies developed at Farnborough has revolutionized military flying.